Hi this is Gary with MacMost.com. Today let's take a look at Application Windows or Exposé on the Mac. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign, join us, and get exclusive content and course discounts. So there's a feature on your Mac that's called Application Windows. But it used to be called Exposé and it's actually still called that in a couple of places. Whatever you call it, here's how it works. Say you're working in an app like I'm in TextEdit now and I've got a ton of windows open. If you activate Application Windows you get to see the windows without them overlapping each other. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Control, that's Control not Command, and the Down Arrow. and You can see how it separates those six windows so I can see them. I can move my cursor over any one I want and click on the one I want to bring to the front. Now there's also a way to activate this using the trackpad. You can use either three or four fingers on the trackpad and swipe down. So I can do that here with my trackpad and it brings it up the same way the keyboard shortcut does. If you go into System Preferences you can see the keyboard shortcut in Keyboard and then Shortcuts, Mission Control and there's Application Windows. So it has to be activated and there you can customize it. For the trackpad you have to go to Trackpad and then More Gestures and you'll see App Exposé. So here's a place where Apple still calls it Exposé. And you can set it to three or four fingers swiping down. But there are other ways to bring it up and there's even more functionality to it. For instance I could bring it up and then I can move to another app. So let's say I want to see the Windows in another app, not text edit. I can use now the Tab key and we'll switch to another app. And I could go through all of my available apps but it only shows the ones that aren't hidden. So right now I have the Finder with several windows as well but I had it hidden before. So now let's launch App Exposé or Application Windows and I can tab through my apps. and You can see there I get to text edit, I get to other apps that I'm running and then back to Finder. And Then you can go and simply click on a window in here and it brings that to the front. So you can actually use it as an application switcher allowing you to see all the windows open in different apps and then selecting a specific window in a specific app. Another thing it does is it allows you to see recently opened documents. So let's switch it on and in addition to the six windows here I'll see these other documents here at the bottom. And These are ones that are recently opened ones. and I can click there and it jumps to it if it's already open and if it's not already opened it would simply open it up. So it's also a way to view recent documents. Now another way to bring this up is to use the dock. If you select an app in the dock, say the Finder, and Control click it you could select Show All Windows and that goes into the same Application Windows or Exposé view. You could also double tap with two fingers on the trackpad any item in the dock and it will bring it up. And This works even if it's not the current app. So for instance I could have Safari as my frontmost app and I could go over to another app like Finder and I could tap twice with two fingers and it brings up Exposé for the Finder. This also works on the Magic Mouse using two fingers and tapping twice on the surface of the mouse but not clicking down. I also find it works with one finger for me on the Magic Mouse. Two taps but not a full click. So that makes it really easy to switch to a window in another app. I can go over to Text Edit here in the dock. I could tap with two fingers, select the window I want and now it jumps right there. Look how it didn't even bring the other text edit windows to the front. I still see Safari as the next window behind this text edit window. And better yet, it works with apps that aren't even running. For instance, I have Pages not running right now. But if I tap twice with two fingers, it brings it up, says no available windows for Pages. But I see the recent documents here. So I can double tap on Pages with two fingers on the trackpad here and then select a document and it will open up Pages and open up that document. It even works pretty well with just the keyboard. For instance, I can do Control, Down, Arrow. I can move between these windows with the arrow keys including the recent documents here at the bottom and I could switch to a document just by pressing return and it opens it up. The one place it doesn't work well at all is if you have a full screen app. So I've enlarged this Pages window to be a full screen window here. So I've got actually a Mission Control, you see my desktop and then Pages is in full screen. Now almost none of that works. If I do Control and Down Arrow it doesn't bring it up. If I do the gesture on my trackpad it doesn't bring it up. If I were to double tap 
two fingers on the trackpad it doesn't work. Even control clicking here and choosing show all windows won't work. So you really have to be in regular desktop mode here not a full screen window to use this. Now here's one more trick I want to show you. You can use this with the App Switcher. So the App Switcher is Command and then Tab. And then you could switch between the apps by continuing to hold Command down and then using Tab to move forward. When you're at an app and you want to see the windows in that app you can use either the up arrow, the down arrow, or the number 1 key. Let's use down arrow here since it's kind of consistent with the other shortcuts. You can see it brings it up for text edit right there. At that point I can release the Command key. So for instance if I wanted to see all the Finder windows I can go over to Finder. I can use one of those. Let's press 1 here and you can see how it brings it up. And I can release the Command key. I can continue to use the arrow keys to select the window and then return to jump to it. So whether you call it Application Windows or Expose there's a lot of functionality in here. You could use it to switch between windows in the app that you're currently using and you can use it to switch to another window in another app without having to first jump to that app and then find the window in it. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.